I'm gonna eat the blueberries first. Making sure I'm outside where the sun is. Yeah, you gotta make sure you get some sun, guys. When it's out, be outside. Yeah. All right, so here is my daily uh, every day. This is my breakfast. This is after my workout. I work out first thing in the morning, had a little snack because I was doing resistance. Any kind of weights involved, I make sure I have a little snack before. If it's cardio, I'll do fasted. Um, so biggest meal of the day, I'm gonna have a carb, a fruit, a vegetable, a healthy fat, and a protein. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna poach my eggs. Yeah, it's fairly easy to make it in a pan, throw some spinach in there, go it over, throw the, um, throw the healthy fat in there, but it'll get rid of the, cal uh, not calcium, the good cholesterol benefit. So I just get two brown eggs, cage-free, Organic if you can, they're just super expensive for me right now. Um, so crack the doo dah. I'm actually gonna crack it into a cup. If you have a, like a little tiny saucer, that's even better. I have my, um, I have water simmering over here in this pot. And it's simmering, it's not boiling, make sure it's not boiling. So it's really low heat, a uh, little bit of vinegar in there, a little bit of oil. And I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna drop these guys in. So those are gonna take about five minutes to cook. Uh, two poached eggs. I also have this Ezekiel Ezekiel muffins. Um, you can do, you can also do oatmeal, but I'm gonna save that for later in the day, steel cut oatmeal. So Ezekiel English muffins, just one half of a muffin. It's over in the toaster, I'm gonna go push that down. By the way, mom, I live with my mom still, and she's right here. <laughs> <laughs> yelling at me because she needs a tea bag and it's right here. <laughs> oh. Here's a tea bag, Ma. Come over here in the no, picture. No, <laughs> I don't want to be in a shop because I don't want to be in a <laughs> All right. So um, other than that, I'm gonna have a full soothing. Uh, soothing. Soothing. There she is. Hey, you're in the shop, Ma. Say hi. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna have a full serving of um, fruits. I'm also gonna have a full soup serving of spinach because I'm iron deficient. So spinach, kale, any of that kind of stuff. I gotta make sure I get it in there. Now, now you're like loving the shot. Um, and just to let you know, I live with my mom and my two sisters and I have two kids in the house. And look, there's Ritz crackers right here. They have cornbread right here. They got these things, sour things. So I have all this temptation right in front of me and I just kind of like grown uh, to like just get oh well like even veggies look at this look at this. they went to Costco and they have this ginormous bag of veggie straws <laughs> I can't be doing all that um but anyway so I, I'm facing all this temptation right here but I'm making sure that I'm eating what I need to eat oh and my healthy fat is going to be coconut oil this is my favorite brand um Currington Farms <laughs> what happens I tried to get something done look she's trying to hide behind me she needed the banana, which is also over here, this little corner that I'm... <laughs> Alright, so, uh, so there we go, let's just go over it again. I'm gonna have a bed, I'll actually do it for you right now. I grab a bowl, I have a bowl, I, got a, I have a nice huge ginormous serving of spinach. Um, vegetables is kind of like, when you have a, a nice clean uh, leafy dark green vegetable, yeah you could do like a serving, you can measure it out and everything, but for me, um, I do have a, a higher muscle mass than the average person, so I need to I need a little bit more food. So the vegetables is definitely where I don't, you know, it's okay. Add a little bit more. Um, stuff like broccoli though, and stuff that uh, is very like a has a bloaty effect on you. Uh, I wouldn't have extra amounts of those, but I, like something like a dark leafy green, uh, fantabuloso. Okay, so we have the spinach. I have it in a bowl right here. I'm actually going to be taking the Ezekiel muffin um, and I eat this because it's a nice clean carb. It's super super clean. It's easy. I'm just going to make sure I'm not letting my, my poached eggs overcook here because I want them to be runny. Uh, you'll see what I do with it. It's kind of fun. Uh, Alright, so I'm actually going to turn the heat off over here. My muffin just popped. So really interesting the, t the way that the timing works out. So I'm going to take butter knife and in my coconut oil jar I actually keep the a serving of coconut oil is actually a teaspoon for me so I'm gonna get that teaspoon and it's so tempting with healthy fats like 
almond butter and stuff like that to make, like you know make it a huge mound. Um, but I just I just make sure to to only have that teaspoon because there's a reason for serving sizes, you know. The teaspoon I'm gonna keep in there to keep my life simple. I'm just gonna spread I spread the so it's like a good like butter substitute. It's a healthy fat, you know. Coconut oil is that one of the best healthy fats you can have, along with almond butter. Um, so if you like, say for instance, you wanted just the eggs on the spinach and you wanted this with almond butter, go for it, you know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna break this up. I just spread the coconut oil on top. I'll break it up and I'll just put it because it's just easier for me to eat with a fork. I don't wanna have to like bring a knife to the party and cut it all up. Um, all right, ding 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 ding. ding. You know, I do a little dance, make a little. little. All kind of stuff. All right, so now here comes the hard part. Let's cook it up on the All of that stuff. All right, cool beans. So I'm gonna grab this guy. You want something with holes in it so, um, when you get the poached eggs out. So the heat is off, and I'm just gonna go ahead and grab. I think these are my best yet. Poached eggs are kind of new for me. Kind of together, so it's kind of I don't want the water in my salad thing I have going on here. It's beautiful. It came out very well today. Get the water. All right, cool. So I have all of my all of my food right here. I'll probably just eat this. So like half of a packet, half of a blueberry packet. Um, these were on sale, by the way. I, don't, I buy whatever is on sale, y'all. And it's about half, so that'll be my fruit serving. And then I also have pink salt. Now, pink salt's really awesome, and I'll use it all day long. I'll use about, I guess, I guess about a, a full teaspoon a day, or half of a teaspoon, quarter to a half of a teaspoon per day. Um, so I'll just sprinkle this on here. And you can use pepper. You can use any kind of other thing. But what's that one? I'm just gonna scoop that back onto my plate thing. Yep. Look how beautiful. Let me not do that again. <laughs> the egg fell off onto the counter. <laughs> you know, you gotta have fun with life, you know? That's why you gotta make sure your surfaces are clean. So when mistakes happen, you're just good to go. All right, so just a quick review. I'm gonna have the blueberries. I have my serving of vegetables. I have a carb. I have protein. Uh, two eggs, two full eggs of protein. And then I think it's actually eight egg whites is a full serving of protein. So be careful if you're just having egg whites a lot. All right, y'all. Next up later is going to be. Oh, there's a little one. Say hi, Eli. No. <laughs> All right, everybody. So it's a little bit earlier than I would usually have um, my second meal, my Shakeology snack. Um, but I'm going to do it because I just actually recorded a seven minute workout video for everybody and I was outside, I was sweating, and I just really wanna make sure I get something in my body. Um, so I'm just gonna bump one of my meals up. And so this is going to be, I'm gonna start with eight to 10 ounces of water. I'm gonna do 10 just cause I want a little bit more fluid um, going on. I have my vegan chocolate shako. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna change from the vegan now because my vegetarian precision is not holding true. <laughs> Um, I'm eating beef, like, it's no problem. And I also have almond butter, freshly ground almond butter. Now, why? I really like to get the freshly ground stuff because I know exactly what's going into it. I know that there's no sugars added. I know that there's no extra salt added. So I really like to go to the store and get the raw almonds. Try to stay away from the roasted ones. The roasted makes it easier for the grinding process and that kind of stuff. But anytime you heat something up, it kind of destroys um, its the natural properties in the food and you want to maintain as many of the natural nutrients as possible because food is fuel not just for flavor you know what i'm saying this this i love this meal this is my favorite meal of the day i get my chocolate fix um and i'm feeling a little i don't do this every day i don't add it every day but i'm feeling a little like lower on energy today uh, i've just been really busy a lot of things going on and i need to go and work now i need to go and like create meal plans for people i need to go and create uh not meal plans but i need to go like lay out some um on-demand workouts for people. And so I need to be really, really laser focused. So I'm also gonna add um, the Shakeology Focused Energy Boost. So there's already a lot of energy inside of this this guy itself. Um, but I just want a little bit more. And then I'm also gonna have a little nectarine, a little serving of fruit on the side. I did have a, a fruit, I had half of a banana, which is a serving, by the way. Whole banana is two servings of fruit, y'all. So 
I did already have half a banana this morning, um, but I'm just gonna keep the smaller fruits. I usually only get two fruits a day, but because I did a lot of uh, training today, I did resistance type training, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna have a little bit extra, and then I don't feel really guilty about it. So it's okay. So I have my water, and I'm gonna take a scoop. Do do da. Close that up and put that over there. Take this guy. I don't know if you need to watch me. I like to talk to you guys while I'm here. Yeah, cool, cool. And all these treats are still here from this morning. Same day. And once again, okay, this is really easy. Uh, everyone loves almond butter and peanut butter. And actually, I really highly recommend, you know, if you're on the peanut butter kick, I know almond butter is a little bit more expensive, um, but you should only be having a small amount anyway, just like the Ezekiel bread. Like, it's very easy to want to like, mm, I'm going to make pretty much two of these so I'm making it go all the way around. Um, but you really want to make sure you stick to your servings. There's a reason why the serving sizes are what they are. I just like the coconut oil. I can make these one actually in here. Make sure my hands are clean before I start the process. So there it is. If um if I know that later in the day it's gonna be hard for me to get a green in, like if I'm going to a dinner or something, and I'm not sure if it's gonna be vegetables because other people don't like to really eat healthy. Um, I'll put extra greens in here, just one of my servings by a pet. Like I'll actually show you. You can go to like right next to the corn dogs for me. If I can do this, y'all, y'all can do this. So this is just like power greens from Costco, big old bag. Um, I won't eat this in a salad, but I'll I'll throw like a handful in as a serving as a vegetable if I don't feel like sitting and eating green beans extra. Um, so, um, so a lot of people, you know, Shakeology isn't a protein shake. Shakeology is actually a wellness shake, but it has a it has the proper amount of protein where it's a full serving of protein. There's also full fruits, uh, full servings of fruits and vegetables in there. But the cool thing is, is that when you have really, really dense nutrition um, in in something like Shakeology, guess what? This right here, because it's grown in America, and I know it's not coming from anywhere else in the world. This only has 25% of the nutritional value that it did 25 years ago. So Shakeology helps me make up for what I'm losing, what I should be getting and what I'm losing in fruit that's grown in America that I'm buying fruit and vegetables and all that kind of stuff. Um, Cause this stuff is from all around the world, Shakeology. Love it, absolutely love it. I've been getting it since April, 2013, every single day. And uh, I wouldn't miss it, my favorite one. Oh, and so if you have, I don't care, you know, I would recommend Shakeology to everybody. And if you want a discount, let me know. But uh, if you, any kind of shake you have, this guy, this ninja bullet, what? Ninja is the best bullet I've ever, uh, the, the best bullet I've ever had. The ninja is the best um, blender I've ever had. And it actually comes with, if you're like an on the go, it comes with this little like, <laughs> this little uh, to go beautiful um, top and you just, just replace the, uh, the blender with it. But I'm staying home today when I have this. Just shake it up. So I like mine really thick like ice cream, so I make sure to put at least two ice cubes if you put three, it depends on how much water you have, but you gotta make sure it's like the right consistency. You gotta find it so it's delicious. You should enjoy it. Um, yeah, you should definitely enjoy it. You don't want these to be healthy. Awesome. The other awesome part about Chicago is not gross. All right, y'all, cheers, and I'll see you at my snack, which is super small. Hey, everybody, so I just, I'm not eating right now, but I wanted to sneak in this little video and I wanted to let you know about me drinking water. So I drink one of these between all of my meals. So I have a lot of water during the day and water is so important for your cell hydration. Like you got, when, you're, when you're really trying to get healthy, when you're really trying to get fit, when you're trying to do anything with your body, you gotta think all the way down to the cell level and figure out the way the body works. So um, hydration is super important, y'all. 
and I'm from Jersey and I say y'all because it's politically correct. It's grammatically correct, I think. Anyway, total side note. Um, but making sure you get enough water is super important. I'm drinking water constantly, but a really cool key thing about water is that you don't want to drink water 30 minutes after your meals. So it's been uh, about an hour and a half since I last ate and um, no, I didn't drink any water within 30 minutes, especially after Shakeology, like, because what happens is like your intestines have like these little fingers, your, your intestines are lined with your little fingers and 90% of your nutrition is absorbed by your small intestine, which happens before the large intestine. It's like stomach, small intestine, large intestine. Um, so you, when you, if you drink and you chug a bunch of water after you just had this nutritious meal, what it's gonna do is it's gonna whoosh, wash it through all the little fingers and it's never gonna get absorbed because what happens is the food comes in and it gets the fingers like kind of like grab the food particles and that's why it's important to, to chew your food too because uh, it makes it easier for those little fingers to grab a hold and for those those things to get down nice and deep and the lining of your in, intestines is really where your your food is absorbed so super important don't drink a lot of water during or after you meet at least 30 minutes after your meals so it allows those fingers time to grab a hold of the food and absorb the nutrition. Nutrition, because you're eating very nutritious, yes. <laughs> you're the nutrition from all your food. All right, guys? So I just wanted to make sure to have that note. But then other than that, having water is super important to keep your body flowing, to keep the cells pumping in and out and, and keep refueling because your body does use water anytime you sweat, especially. Just make sure you're drinking lots of water. All right, guys? so it's time for a snack again it's been about two and a half hours since i last ate and this one is the hardest meal of the day to prepare so pay attention it's 12 almonds <laughs> so i have a whole 12 almonds 12 almonds is a bad serving uh if it's a nice healthy fat healthy fats are an amazing way to get um to get it's a lot of calories but they're an amazing source of energy if you train your body on how to utilize them and if you incorporate them and you make sure that your fats that you are incorporating are super healthy and beneficial. All right, so that's it. I'll see you at lunch. All right, I am on, what is this? After my almond snack, this is considered lunch, a uh, full meal. So I have oatmeal as my carb. It's like one packet of oatmeal. I recommend getting like a big steel cut oat and, and cooking them in advance, but I have some packets left over. If you're just starting out, use packets fine you'll be all right just try to stay away from ones that are like brown sugar and like sweet ones just try to get as raw as possible um and then in here my ninja my ninja blender i actually ground up some flax seeds so flax seeds are amazing um you definitely want some sort of seed or olives in your in your diet at some point of your day um so i grounded them up so you can kind of see there and what I did is it's, I really released it because our, our stomachs aren't um, great at digesting down some certain things. So like the outside, um, it would kind of come out like corn in my poo. <laughs> um, it would come out whole. So I want to grind, grind it up so that my body gets the full benefit. So all I did is I put in the oatmeal and I'll stir that up and I'll eat it. And then the other thing I wanted to show you is that I'm going to have another spinach salad. But this time I'm going to put um, ground meat. This is 96% lean ground meat so I don't want the fat from here I'd rather have fat from a healthy fat um, but I'm gonna have no fat no healthy fat with this one I'm gonna have the seeds instead and so for the ground meat I do make this in advance so I'm just gonna heat this up in the microwave it's already cooked though uh, it does last a little bit longer when you already cook it rather than raw so I'll cook it um, about every four or five days I'll have like a new a new pack from the store and I'll um, go ahead and I'll just store it in here and I can just take my serving out Heat it up in the microwave, put it on over the spinach, a little bit of pink salt again, and I'm good to go. So it's the end of the night, I'm at my last meal. I am at a barbecue right now, so all these lovely people. Uh, it's actually a young adult church event. And so there's a whole bunch, a whole slew of stuff. And I'm actually going to just have, so here's the, here's the trick when you go places, bring something healthy so that you have an option. I knew there was gonna be burgers. I made sure to like kind of find out what was gonna be there. I was actually kind of told there was gonna be burgers and dogs. So I just have a burger, no bun, cause I already had my carbs for the day, as you saw before. And I wouldn't eat white carbs anyway. And then I brought 
cucumber salad that has no sugar in it. And I brought green beans. I just put green beans in my cast iron skillet, put some salt, uh, not salt, pepper and garlic. And then I did a little pink salt at the top and I brought it over. And now other people get to be healthy too. But here is the final dinner for the day. The final meal of the day. Uh -huh.